Can Bitcoin save you from inflation? Bitcoin's fans love the idea of using cryptocurrency as a hedge against hyperinflation. In fact, the original white paper, which serves as the founding document for the whole asset class, specifically talks of a phase when no coins will be created and it will become inflation-free. But is this really possible? Can Bitcoin truly abolish the cycles of hyperinflation in human history that seen money return to the value of the paper they printed on in places as diverse as Germany, Zimbabwe and Russia? Will it protect you if the price of bread is paid in a wheelbarrow full of banknotes? So far, the evidence is contradictory. On the one hand, Bitcoin's price has almost no correlation with the market-based measures of inflation expectations. For instance, while gold, a known inflation hedge, has a near-perfect relationship with US bonds that track inflation, Bitcoin does not. And while gold still buys the same amount of stuff as it did in the days of ancient rulers of Babylon, Bitcoin has only been around for little over a decade. On the other hand, for the brief period that Bitcoin has existed, its purchasing power certainly has risen. Yes, there were periods of spectacular crashes where its value measured in US dollars collapsed. But over time, those who held on to the cryptocurrency, rather than actively trading it, were able to buy more and more with it. In 2013, one Bitcoin bought about half a barrel of oil. In 2017, it bought 300. Last year, you could get more than a thousand barrels for a single Bitcoin. Now, economists might warn that at a macro level, that's deflation and counterproductive for investment and growth. But for those hoarding Bitcoin, it was obviously a great result. The jury is still out on whether this will remain true in the long run. But until now, at least, Bitcoin has proven a great store of wealth, even as it failed to purely hedge 